Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how um, I transferred and how I built my uh, curing chamber from this little mini bar fridge into this 78 inch tall refrigerator. It's a commercial, I got this from uh, one of the hotels. They were getting a new fridges and I was told I can pick it up if I wanted to. If not, they will scrap it. It's still fully working condition. What I'll do, I'm gonna go into details. I'll tell you how to control humidity, what little troubles I was having with the bar fridge. Um, Cause it's so hard to, the humidity fluctuates so much and it's really hard to keep it stable. So I'll give you all the tricks. I'll show you how it was built. We go in detail. I show you how everything was wired, how it is controlled and so stick with me and take some notes, save the video and you guys can always come back and build your own chamber. It's really easy. You just gotta know a few little steps and uh, yeah, that's it. So let's go. So this fridge came with the base, but the problem is that this base is way too tall. So what I gotta do, I gotta fix the base first, cut these wheels off and install a shorter wheels. So let's do that because it's super heavy and I need to um, move it around the garage. I can't do it by myself. So we gotta get the base ready first. have it this is my little mini bar fridge so to get you started this is what you need um, this is what it looks inside so I have my humidifier right here dehumidifier and I'll tell you why I put this because when I hang the meats that tends to blow air right through here and it blows directly into my meats when they're hanging and the problem with that they tend to get hard casing they start drying up too much so we don't want that um, that's why I put this so it diverts the diverts the wind blowing this way so all the meats are hanging here and it's fine the problem with these little mini fridges is this back panel. That's the panel that's cooling. You get lots of condensate coming down here and it attracts all the moisture. So the fridge cycles a lot with these little ones. Um, I also installed a small fan. This is two inch fan. I adjusted the speed up to about 25%. So it's not running too fast. This is about 25%. And it's blowing to the ceiling again. We don't want anything blowing directly into the meats. So what it does, it blows up and then it spreads the air around the chamber. So that's very important, especially in these little ones. If you have a big fridge, maybe not so much. But for this particular small little fridge, it's very important. Otherwise, you're gonna keep getting a hard casing on your on your product. So next, we have uh, humidity. That's humidity control, and this is the thermostat pin. So yeah, it's simple. If you guys have tiny fridge, so just add this little fan. It's nothing fancy. Um, just I found a piece of metal bracket, connected it, and it blows up to the ceiling. Um, this is set to the minimum. As you see, this is blowing right now. Um, I just have the fridge on. Also, make sure this is diversed. And now let's go to the controllers. So this is what it looks inside. 
let's go to the controller and I'll exp give you a little tip what I had to do in the back so for example when you have your controllers let's say this one is set to 12.5 Celsius degrees this let's say turns on and it takes him um, 10 minutes to get to this temperature after I set it let's say I set it at 12.5 it goes up to 13.5 and it takes him 10 minutes to get back to 12.5 in that time while it takes him to get 10 minutes this little fridge absorbs all the moisture from here so all that panel freezing for 10 minutes it absorbs all the moisture it leaks down through the hole and my humidifier is constantly running so what i did and then also that temperature drops even further because once you set it to 12.5 it reaches that temperature it cuts off and because the panel is still freezing it's going to continue dropping the temperature over time so it's going to drop till maybe even 10 or 11. so what i had to do i installed this little timer i measured how long it takes for the fridge to get to the temperature and i installed this little timer bought it from uh, amazon i think it was like ten dollars and instead of having 10 minutes i set this to five minutes so it'll cut out after five minutes and my temperature would still reach the desired the still reach the setting so i'm kind of bypassed it and it drops instead of going all the way to 10 it will drop to 11.5 for example you know what i mean so hope you guys understand what i mean to yeah so regular cycle is about let's say 10 minutes but i installed the timer and it takes five minutes and then over time it'll still drop to 11 degrees or whatever 12 degrees because the back panel will keep that cold and this is just a simple uh, fan fan sorry this is a simple fan adjuster just run by the 12 volt block 120 12 volt and this is my 25% fan, 12 volt fan. Um, yeah, I don't have any, I'm not gonna run it off the battery, so it's just run off the main power. And really that's all there's it, there's it to it. That's nothing really else more complicated. The only problem I was having to keep that, like I mentioned, to keep that humidity controlled and the temperature fluctuation. So with the timer, it sorted perfectly so what i'll do now i'm gonna strip this all out strip this all together take everything out and i'm gonna transfer to the new fridge install everything in there so first things first i gotta take everything apart and then we can move it to the new fridge let's do it guys after a few days I got a new part uh, I replaced the fan motor which I was missing was broken had to change that just need to get a cover and clean all this up I was fixing up the wires and everything so I'll show you how I wired it the new one temperature stays really nice and stable um, I had a problem with temperature going every 10-15 minutes uh, cycling my fridge um, so what I'm gonna tell you now a quick little tip so this is how I run it I have a little um, a little block for the plugs and then it's just my humidifier dehumidifier and temporarily is my fridge plugged in here because we had a, such a hot weekend I had to get this going fast um, so I didn't have the time to run it nicely, but now I finished. Everything looks more neat. Just comes right through the corner here. 
and then the thermostats come right through this corner right here all right so let's take a quick peek inside i'm gonna turn this off for a moment so it doesn't cycle again what you might have to do in your fridge too um this is my thermostat i put it in a glass bottle because the problem is every time you open a fridge if you hang it in the middle every time you open a fridge it gets a little bit of warm air and it cycles the fridge right away so now i can open the fridge if i have to i'll try to keep it not too long but i put it in a glass bottle empty nothing in it i know some people what they do they put it in a plastic zip bag the thermostat fill up with the water and put it in there i might have to try that too I'll see how that works. Um, maybe it's a good idea, but for now, it's okay. I have every 29 minutes, so every 30 minutes, the fridge comes back on, so it's really good. Um, what else we got? So it's just my humidifier. I set it to point on the wall, so it's not directly at the prosciutto. I just uh, use a little bit of hot glue, glued my thermostat again. I didn't want to blow it, put it here in the middle, hang it here. What happens it has it has so much my bad it has so much circulation and the humidity keeps jumping up and down so here I just have a string I measured it so the string barely moves maybe just like this even less to see how much circulation I'm getting in this corner so this worked out the best for me I would recommend for you guys do the same you don't want too much air into your sensor because what will happen it will just say oh it's not enough um, or it's too much humidity so it'll just keep cycling so this is a perfect spot for it and then i put my humidifier because pretty much all the moisture is always goes down and the hot air goes up cooler air goes down and yeah i just put it in the bottom here run the wires through the corner into here and that's it um <laughs> funny enough i had to clog this hole i'll fill it up later i had to fly through here it goes on the bottom and it fly into here into my chamber unbelievable so i had to get him out clog the hole and that's it so yeah guys about this bottle it's one of the best tricks um i might try with the water but i don't think it's necessary so this is what i did i just put it in there and just left it hanging in the glass so yeah it keeps the temperature more stable cycles less doesn't have to turn on and off so yeah that's it this is uh very simple very easy how to build your chamber so yeah check out my channel i'll be posting more videos i'm gonna be having a few projects coming up i gotta fill up this fridge now since i got more room uh, i'll try to sell the other one and yeah i'll do more uh, more stuff on the channel so stay tuned have a good one ciao